Hey guys, so a lot of people ask me about inventing and making stuff, and of course the real challenge is getting hold of stuff, and how do you do it? Well, I kind of suggest that one of the things you do is just keep your eyes open, because stuff it gets thrown away all of the time, nobody minds if you take it. A lot of people have been saying to me though, they just don't see stuff lying around. So the other trick is create relationships. I mean, as you know, the guys down the road at Canterbury Automotive are very supportive of what we do, and they give us stuff just because they like what we do and they're a bunch of nice guys, which is awesome. But you can create other relationships around you as well. So we had some scrap men come around. I stopped them, looked in the van, paid them a tenner for some scrap, and they were over the moon. And now we've got this little relationship going. They pick up my junk and they leave things like this. This is a treadmill. I've been after a treadmill for absolutely ages. But if you want to be collecting stuff so you can do some make or invent, key thing is keep your eyes open, make relationships, don't be afraid to ask. Okay, so the rest of this video, what we're going to do is pull out the bits that we're going to need from this. And I say were because I have a friend visiting. My friend's just come down this weekend to help out, really. So I'm going to introduce you to Ross. Hello, I'm Ross. Uh, nice to meet you all. I have a channel that I've just started up called Intelligent Tinkering, and I hope to grow that channel in the future. And I make things like this, a split diff lamp that turns and you can have it on. Um, I also like repairing stuff and anything that I can scout, um, find and fix and hopefully make another use for. So check me out, hopefully join my channel and speak to you all soon. Awesome! Okay, so let's get together on this mat and just get some bits pulled off. Okay, and that is basically our hole. Now, there's some really cool bits, hey? But in particular, and Ross's suggestion was, and an awesome suggestion, make the frame into a go-kart. You could have got a ready-made go-kart frame. And I thought that was incredible. Oh, what about thinking? But there's a couple of really good motors there. There's the tilt motor, there's the actual run motor, loads of rollers, a bunch of other stuff we've put away because this is the important stuff. And we're gonna take that inside and have a closer look at that. I've been told for absolutely ages about these treadmill motors and to be honest I've been fascinated by them. So what I've done is I've just taken that motor and I've put a stilton on the end of it so that I can actually turn it and here of course is our meter with the bit of cat on so you can read it as well. So if we stick that on voltage. Now remember this is a DC motor so the commutator acts as a rectifier so you're going to get rectified current out of here it's going to be DC current. So if I give that a nice steady spin we get three and a half volts out of that at that RPM with me spinning it steadily. I know I appreciate it's open circuit, but let's put that on the amp reading. Then we'll give it a nice steady spin again. <laughs> That's half an amp! That's half an amp around about three and a half volts. That's really cool, okay? And that's from me turning the Stilson. Okay, so I've wired up my LED panel and I'm gonna give that a little bit of a turn. There you go, no problem at all. So yeah, I can say that if you find a DC treadmill motor, grab it, because they're immensely useful. I mean, that is some output. We've got to link that up to something now, but we could link that up to our free uh, flywheel generator. We'd have quite a generation set. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.